Hola. If you guys look right there, that's the only bone from the body that was left in here. King S. Is that someone screaming? What is up guys, thank you for watching Franco TV. So I am in another cemetery that I found. However, this video will be interlinked with one of my other videos that I did. I remember seeing a static figure standing very still and I wasn't able to investigate that area due to the fact that I sprained my ankle by pretty much falling down the staircase. I'm okay now, everything's back to normal. I cannot wait to see what that place has in store. However, I found this awesome one that's have like these huge long dark hallways that I wanna show you guys. Let's get into the video. Look at this. I'm not sure why this area here is gated up, but it still looks beautiful. Here's where you confess your sins. I would have to have the priest stay overtime for me to finish up my list of things that I have possibly have done. But look at this. See if I get you guys through the gate. I want to show you guys the hallways. It's actually right behind me and they go deep into this place. Let's check it out. Now I actually haven't been down here just yet, so I don't know if there's people here. I haven't seen anybody. Just got a noise over there. Okay, so I might run into someone. Jesus Christ statue. I love it when graveyards get this dark when you go into mausoleums. Kind of already hearing something. I just don't know if that's coming from outside or inside. Out again? It is really hot where I'm at too. So if you notice that I'm sweating, it's because it's hot. I just got a loud bang over here. Here, I'm going to bring up the brightness here. It's like hyper-realistic. 
kind of, at least his eyes look real. So I found this other chamber here. What the hell is that? Capilla 11. It's dark in here. Look at this. Capilla 12. Huh. I'm getting knocking. It's coming from over here. Hola? Hello? Quien es? Who's there? Is that coming from? It sounds like it's coming from the tomb areas. Yeah, I'm gonna change my brightness there. Hermelia? Sarah? Natasha? So I thought it would be too early in the day to even hear anything, but I did get some knocking sounds. Let me see if I can switch into night vision and see what I can see here. I just switched over to my night vision because it is super dark in here. I wasn't expecting to use night vision during the daytime. This is where I was hearing those knocking sounds coming from. This is where I was hearing it from. Hello? Anyone? I want to try something. Hola. I literally got my hair standing in the back of my neck right there. That was creepy. Usually I would say if that's like the building settling or something, but that was, that was, that was straight up creepy. Can you do that again for me one more time? I'm like, should I tell somebody that works here that this thing is making noise? But then I'm like, they're probably going to be like, you're in a graveyard. This person's been deceased since 1987. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be knocking back at me. At this point now, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the nighttime footage at the other graveyard. I want to see what it was at the back of that graveyard. This will be my last video at that place until I come back to South America. God knows when, because I'll be making a trip to Europe. And from then forward, let's go to the other graveyard.
I've made it to the graveyard. It's now nighttime. As you can see, it's pretty quiet. I'm trying to see if I can get back to the area that I told you guys about, which should be further, uh, I believe, west of this place. All right, before I show you guys the place I was just showing you at night vision, this is the area right here I wanted to show you guys. If you look right here at the dates, Tamatsu Shimitsu. This guy apparently killed his entire family. And if you look, 1944, the 2nd de November de 1944, 2nd de November, November, the 2nd of November of 1944, the 2nd of November 1944, the 2nd of November 1944, it just keeps going. He killed his entire family with a stick. There's a total of seven people here that this person had taken the lives of. That's pretty much jumping on the area of serial killer, but even though you just killed your own family. I'm still currently trying to get to the area where you guys seen that weird thing standing there. It's a bit of a walk, but I'm just coming across things that I forgot or never told you guys about. Look at the size of this area. I know it could be a little bit more stealthy going through here, but whatever. Oh, there's like a little black bag over there. Could be some, some stuff, you know? Oh, oh, that's creepy. Let me see if I can record my other camera so you guys can see. So if you guys look right there, Looks like some sort of angel statue on the inside. I don't know why it's sitting there. I don't want to know what else is inside. We're doing it. Let me see. Looks like it's just an angel statue. All right, so the location's just beyond here. I am getting closer to it. But I was told to be very careful around these areas because there's a lot of witchcraft. So you won't believe what I just found in here. And I found this. I haven't been inside just yet, I've seen it from outside. Look. The hell is that about? hearing noises out there. Someone's yelling. I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm just looking. There seems to be lighters over here, see? some lighters and then someone took like a powder and some plants and made a star. I do not know what this is about. It's got me a little panicked. I just hope it's like not someone running from the cops and jumps in here. That happens all the time. I just found something very disturbing. Someone broke into another tomb here and this was closed. You won't believe what they did inside. Look at this. They broke in the tombs of the babies. This one, I don't know if it's still in there. I don't want to find out. That's looks like it hasn't been touched, but I don't know. If you look right in there. That's the only bone from the body that was left in here. There is no more bones. They rob the entire body to use for witchcraft. This is the evil type of witchcraft. You don't touch people's remains. I have to report this. I don't think anyone knows about this yet. And said there are some ashes, but even more disturbing is if you look over here on the floor, those are all human remains, bones, pieces of bone fragments, and they look really tiny. 
So if I add the math up, see that's another one right over there. This could be from the baby's body. That's another body on the inside, but seems to still be intact. Look at that. That's all spider webs, but that's normal. What isn't normal is that, and chances are these people are gonna come back and get the rest of the bodies. I am sweating so much. I now made it to the area where that ball came rolling down at me on my last video. There we go. Whoa, this is new. There's a whole bunch of flowers here. That's where I fell. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the staircase is completely rotten. I'm hearing noises out here. There's only one way in and one way out of this place. As you can see, it looks like you could still see somewhat of an outline there. I want to see what that is. That looks really weird. But so far, nothing. It's just an empty room there. me the last time. Like expecting to hear that whistling again that I heard. But it is remotely quiet. What is that? Is that a bush? There's a weird liquid there. I don't know what that is. I hear a lot of people for some reason. It sounds like somebody's having a conversation out here. Reminds me of like a whole bunch of tombs with people talking. These are trees. I've never been this far back before. Soy seguridad. ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? Señor. Absolutely not. Señor. ¿Quién es?
I don't want to be back here. There's some guy here. This is probably the guy that was whistling and probably the same person that might have broken into that tomb. He's still looking. Yo, just go. All I have is mace on me and a knife. Que tu quieres? He's leaving. My only way out right now is the way I just came in. And this guy is still up there. I can hear him banging his stick. I just heard a girl's voice right behind me laughing. This is bad, this is stupid. I don't hear him tapping his stick anymore, but I'm not going up this route. There's another way I could go this way. I don't know where he came from. I think he came from over here or something. Let me see. I hope I don't run into somebody else because I'm hearing a lot of voices. There's like music back there. safer area. I made it to the other side, which is where the witch's tomb is located. I'm a little nervous because now I know I have some guy wandering around the outside. I haven't seen any of the security guys. I think they're all in the front, but I will be letting them know. And that's my first spike. If you notice, I have all my equipment right here. Check this out. There is no more chicken. If you guys remember, there was a chicken that's always laying on top of the altar. It's been moved. Look where it's at. Right on the floor. Someone took it out. But I want to see if there's anything else here. stuff. There seems to be a liquid there. But nothing else. I'm recording right now. I just left the area and I can hear someone screaming down this hall. You hear it? Listen. Someone's screaming.
something's weird about this area. I know that's a bird. But through the bird sound, I was hearing somebody screaming like a female moon. All right, I'm now recording with the night vision and someone just came out. I'm gonna see if I can walk a little bit closer. I was hearing something creepy with the, uh, something like moaning from down there. And some guy just came out with long hair and then ran that way. I'm trying to see if I could kind of catch him on camera. There he is. He's actually far back there. I'm gonna see if I can walk a little bit closer. I don't know if this is the same guy or not, so wish me luck. All right, he just walked into the other tombs here. Yeah, this guy's on something. He just passed right through there. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I saw it. That's the guy right there. watching Franco TV this got extremely dangerous there's more than one person there's like a crew of people I just let security know they're out there right now looking for them with flashlights and I guess they're on drugs or something because the other guy just started screaming I don't know about the other guy but there's another one on the other side I'm now on the on the fence part here if you guys could see I'm gonna start making my way in and getting the hell out of here I've had a long night that being said I will see you guys on the next video shout out to my patrons I love you Miss you until the next one. Bye, guys.